Maybe nice. Bob Lazarus is a guy who worked in the Area 51 and exposed everything though uh, he witnessed there. He had an amazing podcast with Joe Rogan. Yeah, 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 as well. Yeah, um, I didn't watch that whole podcast. I've read, I watched segments of what he was saying and read some of the stuff of, of what he was saying. Uh, could be very true. Could be very true. Uh, there's definitely tech out there that we don't know, that we're not privy to no doubt there are underground like one of the things that people are talking about is there there are enormous gigantic underground cities that the tech exists right now where you can send these instruments these machines right down into the ground and within days they could create gigantic caverns huge caverns that with normal machinery would take months if not years to create they can do it in hours or days right they've created all these gigantic cities that are interconnected right where people can live once the psychopaths burn the world right the question is a lot of people some people that are working for these institutions organizations they're working for them because they're hoping that they they and their family will also have a seat have a place to live in these underground cities the best thing that i ever heard i'm not sure who who it was from they said they couldn't pay me enough to go live in these cities with these monsters it's like what the fuck i'll take my chances with human beings instead of these monsters right so you can pay me enough to go in, in one of these gigantic underground cities with starbucks and little restaurants and your neighbors dick cheney or his his daughter or obama's oh, what the f right or anyone connected with the epstein files right why would i put myself in that situation right uh more lock caves more lock caves right <laughs> oh my god says so yeah i'm not sure if bob lazar talked about that stuff uh, but he talked about some high-tech stuff some aliens uh, human beings i believe working with aliens so what i took from him was you know things that i've read from other people as well like um, um maxwell um uh, jordan maxwell like i'm not sure if, i'm pretty sure uh lazar came way after jordan maxwell jordan maxwell's been around or he's not anymore but he was around since the 1970s right going into the esoteric realm into aliens into this into demons into uh who controls our society and all this shit, right uh so i've listened to a lot of jordan maxwell uh lectures talks and stuff like this uh pretty cool i would say <clears throat> 